Is there any way to make attack not be smart cast, but be it like in Warcraft 3 when you press A and then you left click? Yes. You can turn on global quick cast and then turn it off individually for attack. Let me show you in just a second. First, I'm going to ban someone. Are you actually Dutch? Mega yes, Tassel I'm from the Netherlands, which makes me Dutch. I do have a percentage of Indonesian blood. My father comes from Indonesia. So Though you can't really tell me. I used to be brown, we but then I spent too much games, uh, too much time indoors playing games, and I turned pale. No, it's just a, it's a, it's a percentage. <laughs> All right, why is nobody banning in Tassel Broken? Yeah, it's true, it's true. Yo, girl, we started out in Silver 5 in Season 1 I and by pulling a stream and everything. Really? Got it? Our time has come. No joke though, if you do spend a lot of time inside and if you have harsh winters like the Netherlands or even more northern countries, take your vitamin D pills guys. We need sun. And if we don't have it, we should take some supplements. Mm, what shall I ban? They have Asmo and Varian. Move Chromie. Uh, Chromie and. No, I know Netherlands doesn't have harsh winters. I'm just saying. They have winter, okay? We have short days. Like, daytime, six hours a day. It's not quite Sweden or Antarctica or North Pole, but. Beats me. Do you think Li Ming is one of the best or probably the best assassin in the game? Uh, I would say one of the best. Okay, I'm going to deviate from specialists just because we need more role filling. I don't want to play a busted game in draft. Have you ever worn wooden shoes? Of course. Of course. Uh, we had one set of wooden shoes which everyone shared when we like take out the trash. I heed the voice of Elune. Courtesy of uh, my mother's heritage. She was born in Friesland, which is the northern province in uh, the Netherlands, and they're even more rural and traditional than some places in the Netherlands. So, wooden shoes. The stereotype. Partially true. Confirmed. Yes, that's how Team League goes. I got man boobs. There's no way to deal with it, except keep trying, maybe at different time slots. Taking out the trash, as you will do with the enemy team this game. <laughs> well, actually, the draft looks a little tough for us. 
in my opinion. They have to Haka. Get ready for combat, heroes. Mechatacid are fully functional. Are your systems ready, friend? Must you ask? I know. Um, they have magic, mostly magic, 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 uh, semi-auto attack and auto attack. Dampen magic is going to be magic for us, I think. And then I'm gonna go beetle build, I think. I must retreat. Yay, zero minions lost. Oh, I didn't know that, I mean. In terms of warriors, Anubarak is probably one of the more specialist -y kind of warriors. Why does Anubarak have such a high win rate? Let's first talk about what Anubarak is. He is a low HP, one of the best CC in the game warrior, who functions as an off tank, because he's not as survivable as the others, but he has loads of lockdown. He's also got good damage, and great mobility. His weakness is low HP. After that, the Blizzard Heroes of the Storm development team pigeonholed Anubarak to be more of an anti-mage, even more, and less of an anti-warrior or assassin or what have you. In doing so, they slightly failed because the amount of magic protect he has compensates easily for the amount of uh, auto attack damage that he takes more, relatively speaking. So he's just very survivable. Excellent. No Legion of Beetles. He's just more survivable than he was, so he's just that good. He's just a little bit overtuned with the amount of damp and magic resistance he's got. Is that all? Ah, oh, moving to you, nice. I'll consume the living and the dead. You have done well here. I see three mid, one top. See three bots, so we're in a pretty good situation here. Our ally requires assistance. Are there other heroes who would like to see armor on baseline for balancing? Um, I don't know, I haven't thought about it. It's a bit too complicated to think about now in the game. I'm gonna go for leeching scarabs. Double temple, slight XP lead. 
I'd be happy to just take one each. <coughs> oh, the boss. <laughs> Which one for you is the best 10k gold hero? Probably Gul'dan or Liming? I don't know. I don't have a clear image of which ones cost 10k gold. Because I haven't purchased a hero with gold in so long. Because I own them all. What happened to Robo Anub? Oh yeah! I guess I bought Master Skin and wanted to try it out. Yeah, Robo Anub is pretty damn cool. I can't tell where they're going, so be careful. Indubitably, a party and a way. Go to down there. Death to the living. Nice. Always like to see that. Gonna go for Locust. Locust Swarm, Beetle Build puts a lot of pressure on Liming. Turn. Capture the altars quickly, heroes. I'll consume the living and the dead. He doesn't have his uh, mount yet. I, will see to it. I had to finish this or he will get it for free. Oh, we got one. Nice. The reason that was okay, because I knew that the Haka just burrowed top, so he doesn't have it yet to join. And I wanted to finish business. Now let's try to fight over the next. God, I nearly got away. That was just a bit too much lockdown. I had a lot of things to save myself. And I don't think there were any resources left from Tass or, or Brightwing. Just a bit too ham. Did you get Dampened Magic at 1? Yes. It is the best. You only don't take it if you see almost no value in it. My service no is potion. Eternal. Do you think Holtz will become more popular game in the future? I think so. It has been on the rise for about four months. It stagnated for about half a year before that. And has been on the rise for four months pretty steadily. But I'm not too concerned about it either way. Either it happens or it doesn't. I enjoy it. Focusing Toronto. Oh, Vala. <laughs> Rip. 
with the, you know, the Haka also came, but. So do you get 75 magic armor? Yes. Does it stack? Yes. Uh, so this isn't well documented no inside the game itself, just in a, a series of patch notes. But your maximum resistance is 75, your, or maximum armor, and your maximum vulnerability is 25. You calculate, add and remove, like add and subtract exactly how much resistance and uh, vulnerability you have. And then what you're left with, you cap it off of 75 plus or 25 minus. So yes, with Dampened Magic, Anubarak has... Uh, go for uh, better barbs, by the way. With Dampened Magic, Anubarak has 75 resistance against magic. To the altars, and we shall deal the Raven Lord a grievous blow. Just done. You shall fall. We conquer. We did lose a bell tower in the meantime. How, does, how long do you think a new player would need to get really good in this game? Honestly, it really depends on your natural aptitude. I didn't bait him. I had an easy escape. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battle. He did that to himself. Feels to baited, man. My heroes. <laughs> Please don't fight. At least we're all alive and level 16 for this important stage of the game with the triple temple phase. Uh, I'm gonna get blood for blood. No potions. Oh. The altars belong to those who claim them. That means you. He doesn't interrupt me. Nice. That's a nice bonus. You're holding back. Don't do it. <laughs> Varian just killed Taronda. Do not resist. I mean, is Artanas really on the way or are you just lying? <laughs> Only because it's Lauber. He always uh, B steps too, and it's all in good fun. They did get a bell tower, but we can actually push with this. We conquer. Oh, 
Alright, alright. You're holding back, don't. I will see Let us you. destroy this fort. Which hero is the best for solo laning? Uh, there's a number of good solo laners. Uh, Dahaka is uh, a good one. Uh, Rexar. Thrall. And then there's heroes that are put on solo lane, not because they're per se great at it, but because they can do so fairly safely, and because they're a late game hero, and don't contribute as much in the four man rotation. For example, Illidan is a solo laner, but not because he's going to dominate it, but just because you don't want him to feed all game long in the four man. So be it. Let us attack this fort. They know about our rotation, and we're going to lose sappers. If I get there on time. Um, I'm gonna get Hive Master. Hey, 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 chill out, guys. Come on. What is this? We're already down our support. What are you doing? Seriously. You, we need to chase past the fort now. Your enemy has destroyed our keep. Does that make any sense? Through a starfall? After losing Brightwing. Worth staying around here. Killing spree. Get him, Hive Beetle. Valor suits you, friend. I must pull back for now. Keep destroyed. We should get one more. Okay, he's playing it safe. We just got. I mean, I don't know why. Why would we cap it when we have basically nice. one bell tower? We could have at least two, you know? There's two dead, so that's the way to power play. Capture this mercenary camp. I'm thinking of turning on my alt. But there's no need. Please live. Look at the amount of beetles. I'm gonna explain my build after the game, by the way. For now, I just want to focus on the game. Nice, we got the boss. I see Osmodon heading top on the minimap. We only need one of the towers. We don't need the sappers, really. 
They want to have a fight. I'm just going to scout it. game uh, I can continue to fight or I can just win the game right here very nice very nice ah, great I haven't played uh, a Nubarak Hive Master in a while really enjoy it <laughs> all good everything according to Vala suits you friend <laughs> Laser on the new. <laughs> Is Brightwing a male or female? A uh, female. Yeah, Hive Master. I mean, Anubrak has the privilege of having three extremely good heroics uh, at level 20. I should say a storm to your talents. And let's just take a quick look at it. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about my early talents. I went for Dampen Magic. I explained it during the game. 75 is your maximum amount of armor. He's got 25 spell armor base. With 50, it's 75. Not all the time, but often. And that just completely counters Liming's Asmodan's damage. Uh, then I went for Double Beetle to have, first of all, more beetles at 4 to block Liming shots, like Arcane Orb. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's it. Just disruption, dismount, damage. When you have that one, it increases the value of leeching scarabs. Uh, alternatively, you have more carapace at 7 or more uh, movement speed. But I already noticed that we had Kala's celerity, so it would be a bit of overlap having this in my own movement speed from time to time when I take it. Either way, I think this is a very nice solid build as a solo tank. Artanis, of course, is our damaging bruiser. Locust Swarm to apply more pressure on Taranda and Li Ming. And then I went for Bed of Barbs. I think it's the best if you don't synergize with your Carapace to not take Urticating Spines, which is the damage around yourself. The slow is very valuable. Uh, blood for Blood to chunk down Dahaka, Asmodan, or Varian. I used it once to dismount Li Ming, by the way. And then at level 20, you've got Rewind. Uh, Rewind or Harden Shield or your upgrade of Alt. Now, Rewind is great if you invest heavily into your Impale and your Burrow Charge, which I barely did. Even if not, it's still amazing. Nonetheless, I decided not to go for it, as Hive Master will add more damage. It's about 350 damage a pop uh, every 3 seconds. And so the fights were lasting fairly long because we have double support. And that type of damage is incredibly potent against either Li Ming or Taronda. So I actually found a situation where I can use it. Hardened Shield, you would use it if despite Damp and Magic, you're still dying a lot. Uh, for example, they have a, a Vala or a Rainer. They just reach level 20, they get their Far Flight Quiver or their Ranker. In Rainer's case, he gets his Nexus Frenzy. Suddenly, surviving in a fight becomes difficult because he's mostly anti-mage, not anti-auto attack. Then you would go for Hardened Shield. So that was it. That was the game and... Uh I went for the Demonic Invasion, it's the, the push build, because I want to capitalize on their low impact of wave clear even more. 